Hi there! In this video I want to introduce you to our two newest glaze colors, limestone and slate, and I want to show you how to use glaze as a stain on raw wood furniture, so stay tuned! As you might know, you can use glaze over painted furniture, but did you know you can use it on raw wood as well? In this video, I'll show you how to do that. I also want to introduce you to our two new glaze colors. First up is our uh, limestone. This is an off-white color. And on this piece of board that we painted in licorice, you can see how that looks. It stays behind in all the crevices and creates a really beautiful look. But if you want to use it on raw wood, this is what it would look like. It gives it a beautiful whitewashed finish. The other new glaze color is called Slate and it is a medium gray. And this is over crinoline, which is one of our whites. And again, you can see it stays behind in all the crevices. And this is what it looks like when you use it on raw wood as a stain. Okay, so now let me demonstrate how you actually do that. This bench we painted in crinoline at the bottom, which is a beautiful, slightly off-white. And the top I want to stain with both the limestone and the slate glazes over top of each other to create more of a barn wood washed effect. Okay, so I'm going to start by shaking uh, the jar and you wanna make sure you always shake and stir any paint or uh, glaze that you use. Okay, I think that looks pretty well mixed. So I'm going to start uh, by using this painting sponge and applying it all over the top. You wanna go in the direction of the wood grain always. Instead of a painting sponge, you can also use just a paint brush and then use a um, lint-free cloth to wipe away the excess. You want to go around and do all the edges as well. Okay. And if you want, you can also do the bottom side just to finish it off. I put some tape around the painted area. Okay, so now you want to let this dry for about an hour or so. And the reason I want to add another glaze color is to just give it extra dimension and to give it that barn wood look. Okay, for the sake of this video, I'm not going to wait for it to dry completely and I'm going to go ahead. It does look slightly dry already it does dry pretty quickly and it soaks right into the raw wood so we can go over it with the uh, slate glaze again I would recommend you wait I'm gonna give that a good shake if you don't wait for the first one to dry then you end up sometimes blending the colors together too much Okay, I'm using a clean paint sponge. You can reuse these so you can wash them and then use them again later. Again, always go with the direction of the wood grain. really subtle. It's not obviously because it's a glaze, it's not opaque like a paint. And again, you want to do the underside as well, just so that it looks good from all angles. Okay. 
Okay. I'm really happy with how that looks. Don't know if you can see it. Okay, so I also wanted to just show you what the other glaze colors look like so you have an idea of all the different glaze colors available. So the other glaze colors we have available are Tiger's Eye, which is a reddish brown. As you can see what it looks on raw wood, it looks like this. And this is over crinoline. Then we have Smoky Quartz, which is more of a black brown. And it looks like this over raw wood and this is what it looks like over crinoline. The last color we have is graphite, which is our black, and it looks like this on raw wood, and this is what it looks like over crinoline. We also have clear glaze available, which is what you wanna use if you wanna use, say, a, a yellow glaze or a teal glaze. You can mix any glaze color with our clear glaze. You mix it in a three-part glaze, one-part paint ratio and it just gives you a lot of different possibilities. The pre-tinted glazes that I showed you today are really easy to work with and you get a consistent color every time you use it and it takes all the guesswork out of picking your color. We're going to create another video where I'm gonna show you how to seal your bench for outdoor use. So make sure you stay tuned for that next video so you can see how you can finish your project and use it outside. Thank you so much for watching and happy painting!